All right, so you're looking to get better at Sky Wars in 2025. It is a tough road ahead for you because there are so many good players. First things first, though, you want to pick a kit that you're comfortable with. I would go the Disco kit. If you're looking to take this game seriously, just go Disco. It's the safest bet. Then you need to find a projectile on your island, okay? You need to get projectiles. If you don't have projectiles, it's going to be a tough game for you, my friend. See? See, the importance of projectiles is huge, okay? It's so important that you have projectiles to defend yourself. If you're not good at using projectiles, you got to practice because projectiles are literally going to save your life. Projectiles include snowballs, eggs, or a fishing rod. Um, so, yeah, basically, I know the farmer kit used to have 64 eggs. Oh, my gosh, this guy's stacked. We are probably going to die here. Holy cow, we are not looking too hot here. Yeah, okay, well, tough road ahead. I mean, he was stacked. Uh, we could not do much in that situation. All right, guys, the next tip I can give you is to get to mid as fast as you can uh, with a projectile and with your kit. So I have my projectile. We're ready to rock and roll. If you can't speed bridge, that's going to be essential. Uh, I mean, it, sometimes the maps aren't spread out too much, but uh, most of the time they are. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, we got some really good armor right off the bat. Very, very important that you get the good armor because if you don't get the good armor, somebody else will. And uh, it's important. Yeah, see, like, he, he is scared of me because he knows that the armor is so important. I mean, we, we are stacked now. We have what we need to win this game. And so if I did not go to middle, I would not have these resources that I do have now. Uh, so we actually have the opportunity to claim every mid chest we have literally all the mid chests uh which is fantastic because we're, we dominate middle right now we really do oh my oh my got him as you can see everybody's using projectiles because they know you know it's just it's common sense if you have projectiles you're going to succeed in this game um bows and arrows are nice uh, let's try to eliminate this guy if we can. And uh, when you have levels, it's important to try to get power two items. Uh, we want power two bow. Let's do that. Boom, we have power two. Very, very nice and helpful when you're dealing with that. Oh, he fell. Yeah, that was not smart on his part. If you don't have perks... You need to get perks as well. Let's talk about that. All right, so as you can see, I have 9 million Sky Wars coins. It's important to, you know, obviously if you're just starting out in 2025, it's it's tough, man, because there's a lot of good perks. Now, there are perk slots, okay? Here, here are my perk slots. We have knowledge. You gain 3 XP levels um, when you, like, kill somebody. Uh, slot 2 is Lucky Charm. You have a 30% chance to get a golden apple after a kill. Um... Number three, you get resistance two for 15 seconds at the start of the game. This is huge for early game fights. Um, it's essential. Enemy kills give you absorption one for seven seconds for savior. Um, slot five, environmental expert reduces environmental damage by 50%. That's huge. And ten tenacity, heal one heart on kill. So tenacity combined with lucky, or no, tenacity and uh, savior give you basically three extra or no, two extra hearts upon kills which is just so essential the global perks are bulldozer and juggernaut um so those basically everyone has so this is my setup though we have knowledge lucky charm resistance boost savior environmental expert and tenacity i found that to work the best for me all right guys the next tip i can give you is since sky wars is such a small community nowadays you're going to be fighting the same players each game i don't have a projectile so i'm going to go get one because i know that without projectiles i am you know a sitting duck pretty much so we need to have those and we have eight so you have to, i want to use those sparingly you want to be you know have common sense sometimes people won't loot all of the stuff in the middle chest so stay aware for that um but yeah this game is a lot of a lot of common sense um i don't even know yeah, dang. Tough scene. I had strength there, so I went in for the kill. 
but let's go ahead and hop into another game. All right, this might be the biggest piece of advice I can give you. If you're on a massive losing streak, you need to make sure that you take breaks because in Sky Wars, you're going to start playing um, you know, worse than you otherwise would. We're going to try to get an easy kill here by just camping. Um, this is something I, I like to do sometimes when I don't feel like rushing. Um, so that way I get some strength right off the bat. And I can use that to my advantage, possibly. Um, not here, though. But um, we're just going to go to middle. Uh, it's important. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I, I, that was really risky because he was about to get strength there. But uh, we it worked out for us. And so did that one. Okay, yes, yes. And we got the... <laughs> yeah, sometimes games, you don't even know what happens. And you get the win. But like I said, take breaks if you're on a massive losing streak. All right, so this map is really interesting. This is one of my favorite maps because you just never know how it's going to go. People rush this map very often. And when you have projectiles, it's very easy to hit people off. So we're going to see how this goes. Uh, this guy's trying to bow me. And that's not ideal, obviously. And we can just hit people off like that. Very simple, very fun to do that. Um, we're going to try to go over this way, but you just never know. And we have strength now incoming. We're going to try to take advantage of that. Yes. So he has strength. So I know that he has strength coming up here. So it's important that I don't do what I'm about to do and, and hit him. Yes. So now that I know his strength is gone, now we can go in for the kill. And I don't have any projectiles, so it's important. Yes, he has the healer kit. So uh, no projectiles is a death sentence, pretty much. And we can, the best part about this kit is the music you can play. I mean, obviously, uh, without the music, you will lose every time. Uh, that is a joke, by the way. Please do not take that seriously. Um, yeah, me and this guy are in a stalemate here because we both know that we have no projectiles. No projectiles is very deadly. Um, wow, that was, yeah, when you have, when both players have no projectiles, it is a really interesting game. Come on, get him. Yes, yes, we got the win. Let's go, GG. All right, so for this game, we're going to try to put it all together with kind of all the tips that I've mentioned. This is a really weird map. It's risky to rush middle here, but we're going to try because we know oh, I have to. Uh, yeah, okay. See, like, I have to make an adjustment here because I know, like, this guy has a bow and arrow next to me. So I know I can't really rush mid. And it's important to understand that because, like, you're not going to be able to do what you want in each game or the, you know, the, str the initial strategy that you do have. You're not going to always be able to live that out. And I just wasted all my projectiles there trying to get that guy off my back. It didn't work out. And uh, now we're kind of a sitting duck. But that's okay. Because at the end of the day, you have to be adaptable in this game. You can't really uh, just expect having a plan right off the bat is going to get you what you desire in that particular game. So he actually just got hit into the void, which is huge. So we have an opportunity. Yeah, it's it's tough out here, man. Like we are surrounded by two people with proje with projectiles right now. Like see that? That's adaptable. That's being adaptable right there. Oh my gosh, we somehow lived through that. I don't really know how. And it's now a 2v1. We're going to see if we can somehow pull this off. We're rushing middle. We're rushing middle. Very important that we do this now because now we have middle. We can now somewhat breathe. We can do this, and we're just going in. We caught him off guard a little bit. Yep. We're in a great spot now, and he fell. He's dead, and that's how we do it, baby. That's how we kind of put everything together. We thought on the run. Yeah, that was really good. Very proud of myself for that one. All right, this is more a traditional map that we can actually like do normal stuff on, sort of, because uh, you're not immediately going to die off the bat most of the time because middle is not that far away in terms of you know blocks needed to actually get there. 
Now, we just got two Blaze pets, which is pretty cool because they're on our team. We have teammates, and uh, that is a pretty cool thing. Uh, we're going to enchant my sword really fast because we can. I'm running for my life right now because I... Yeah, he's on fire now. Yep, that my Blaze pets really did come in clutch there. I cannot lie. That was awesome. Oh, this guy. See, he used a pearl, but I know he's about to get teleported back. I misjudged that completely. What? No. I didn't realize he had strength. That is tough. All right, we're going to try to put everything together here for this game. And uh, like I said, though, you have to be adaptable. So this is a head game. We're going to get more heads per kill. Uh, with this location, I recommend going this way because you're closer to the chest. Uh, for this particular map and we got some nice gear that that is some very important gear Get him off into the void as soon as possible. Let's see if we can take advantage of this with a kill uh, Not really. Uh, I do want to enchant my sword if possible Wow that was whack That was insane. Oh my He could have easily killed me there, but he didn't. That's all that matters. There we go. Oh, he's smart. He's smart. I don't know why he's beating me up with a wooden sword. That was not smart of him. We're going in for the kill. And there we go, baby. We got the weekly quest done, the corrupted win quest done. It's a good way to end the video. Hopefully, you guys found these tips useful. If you did, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know if I missed anything down in the comments that you would recommend. Uh, be sure to help each other out. Uh, it's a small community. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in future videos. Take care, and peace.